All right, step one. Here we go. I have the motherboard right here, which you can see, okay, on top of the anti-static bag and on top of the box, okay, just to elevate it a bit. But all right, the first thing you want to do is go ahead and grab your CPU and install it into the CPU slot, okay? So grab this bar right here. You have to push down a little bit, bring it out. Okay, push up. There we go. And now we could bring this like door open. We can open this door here. All right. This right here will come with your motherboard. Go ahead and take this off, and make sure you save this because it says right here. Important. First of all, make sure this is on if your CPU is not on. And second of all, if you plan on uh, taking the CPU back for any, I mean the motherboard back for any reason, make sure you include this on the motherboard. Okay, so save this is pretty important. All right, next what you want to do is go ahead and grab your CPU. Mine already has some thermal paste on it. This is actually from the Corsair H50 uh, CPU cooler. I actually put t put it together and then took my computer apart and putting it together again for you guys on video. So um, yours won't have that. And if you already have, and if you just recently bought your computer processor, you'll have your fan, which if you decide to use it, this is the one that comes by default. And you can see the thermal paste right there. You don't have to apply thermal paste if your CPU cooler has one. I mean, has it on already, okay? Unless you don't want to use the default uh, thermal paste. You can go ahead, take that off, and then apply your own. But in my case, I went ahead and stuck with the, uh, the default thermal paste that comes on the Corsair H50. So, uh, there's it right there, okay? All right, so to install this, what you want to do is look for the gold triangle. See on the other corner has a gold triangle? Okay, so get the gold triangle. Make sure you don't touch the bottom of the CPU at all, okay? Gold triangle, and right here, I actually have, let me see if I can zoom in on that, I don't know if I can. I actually have a triangle right here, okay? So make sure they line up. Back out a bit. I would move the camera some, but I can't. And also, um, the CPU has two slots right here and on the other side. And that's just going to match up right here on the um, board itself, okay? So be kind of careful when putting this in. Right, and then you just drop it in there. Like that. Okay. Just drop it in there. And, uh, yeah. Just no, don't apply any pressure. Don't, don't press it down or anything. Then you're going to close this door. There. Okay. Oh, another tip. It, don't touch the thermal paste. Don't do that. And then you're just going to, uh, close the door right there. And there might be a lot of pressure. Like, there was just a lot of pressure right there. Okay. So there you go. Now you have the CPU installed. 